Sunda Flying Lima The Sunda Flying Lima, also known as the Milan Flying Lima or Milan Kalugo, is a species of Kalugo. Until recently, it was thought to be one of only two species of flying lima, the other being the Philippine flying lima, which is found only in the Philippines. The Sunda flying lima is found throughout Southeast Asia in Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore. The Sunda flying lima is not a lima and does not fly. Instead, it glides as it leaps among trees. It is strictly arboreal, is active at night, and feeds on soft plant parts such as young leaves, shoots, flowers, and fruits. After a 60-day gestation period, a single offspring is carried on the mother's abdomen held by a large skin membrane. It is a forest-dependent species. The Sunda flying lima is protected by national legislation. In addition to deforestation and loss of habitat, local subsistence hunting poses a serious threat to this animal. Competition with the plant and squirrel represents another challenge for this species. More information is needed on population declines, but at present, the rate of the decline is not believed to merit listing in any category lower than least concern. The Sunda flying lima is a skillful climber, but is helpless when on the ground. Its gliding membrane connects from the neck, extending along the limbs to the tips of the fingers, toes and nails. This kite-shaped skin is known as a patagium, which is expanded for gliding. It can glide over a distance of 100 m, with a loss of less than 10 m in elevation. It can maneuver and navigate while gliding, but strong rain and wind can affect its ability to glide. Gliding usually occurs in open areas or high in the canopy, especially in dense tropical rainforest. The Sunda flying lima needs a certain distance to glide, and to land to avoid injury. The highest landing forces are experienced after short glides, longer glides lead to softer landings, due to the Kalugo's ability to break its glide aerodynamically. The ability to glide increases a Kalugo's access to scattered food resources in the rainforest, without increasing exposure to terrestrial or arboreal predators. In general, the diet of the Sunda flying lima consists mainly of leaves. It usually consumes leaves with less potassium and nitrogen-containing compounds, but with higher tannin. It also feeds on buds, shoots, coconut flowers, durian flowers, fruits, and sap from selected tree species. It also feeds on insects in Sarawak, Malaysian Borneo. The selected food sources depend on the localities, habitat, vegetation types, and availability. The Sunda flying lima mainly forages in tree canopies. It may forage on several different tree species in a single night, or on a single species. It can also be seen licking tree bark of selected tree species to obtain water, nutrients, salts, and minerals. Though the Sunda flying lima has been reported to also occur in gardens and plantations, the species resides in forests primarily. The Sunda flying lima is widely distributed throughout Southeast Asia, ranging from the Sunda Shelf mainland to other islands northern Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, Indonesia, and many adjacent islands. Conversely, the Philippine flying lima is confined to the southern parts of the Philippines only. The Sunda flying lima is adapted to many different vegetation types, including gardens, primary and secondary forest, rubber and coconut plantations, fruit orchards, mangrove swamps, lowlands and upland forests, tree plantations, lowland dipterocarp forests, and mountainous areas. However, not all of the mentioned habitats can sustain large Kalugo populations. <laughs>